Bag. <laughs> Guys, this is a very, very special occasion. The next crop of uh, cream of the crop are right here. Some of them not so young, some of them not racing anymore, but others definitely there and doing what they do best, which is going flat out around the circuit, anywhere around the world. Ladies and gents and brothers who are competing. You might notice they've got paddle rackets in hand. I want to find out before we before we uh, even talk motor racing about the score on the paddle courts out here uh, in Epping as uh, both the Van der Linde brothers and of course the Williams brothers, old friends and then a pepper just for, for good measure in between as well. Uh, a little bit of spice, a little bit of pepper in there for, for, for good measure. Um, but I think I want to start the conversation with, uh, with the Williams brothers. I, I know that, that Shane uh, and John, and you can chip in here as well. I know your brother Shane pioneered away many, many moons ago I mean he looks young still but believe it or not there was a time about 30 years ago uh, the polo was like the first ever gen generation one polo cup this of course no no in all seriousness you you were the one of the first oaks to go overseas obviously Shane and, and kind of a lead the way for for the South African kind of a contingent to take over Europe you, you were like you were, you were a pioneer back in the day. Well, sort of. He I was mean, a test dummy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, first of all, I had to take one for the team and kind of, you know, create relationships. With wow. Them. <laughs> I mean, the the, the family uh, I stayed with, because uh, obviously I taught the kids uh, English. Yeah. They, Amongst other things. Well, they, they, they were quite young now. I mean, maybe Carlo oh, can add to that. No, I'm joking. <laughs> But the, the top family actually uh, looked after me and introduced me to all their connections in sure. Germany. And uh, awesome enough is uh, they actually uh, looked after Calvin and Jordan and Sheldon, and they like yeah. still very close as a as a family and support uh, South Africans in yeah. a way. Uh, she uh, the top family actually just bought an apartment in South Africa. That's how much they love. Uh, but the country. Yeah, I mean, I went to go race there, it was awesome. Uh, Calvin came over there um, yeah. first, and uh, I think with Jordan. Yeah, I'm, surprised you, I'm surprised yeah. you guys survived with this oak over there no, for the first time going over as a host. went into any place, racetrack, nightclub, <laughs> anything within, I don't know, a thousand kilometers. You mentioned Chuck Williams, everyone was like, oh, as long as you're not as bad as him, we're happy to take you. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think it's also, and Ryan, we spoke about it. I mean, sure. it's like, I mean, the guys, all of them have been proudly South Africans, Absolutely. great brand ambassadors for yeah. South African motorsports. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, we, we were talking about it. We don't see them, but we yeah. see them on social media. We Absolutely. see them dominating. I yeah. mean, we all get around. There's a couple of us. We watch the races live, um, and it's awesome to see how well they've done. I mean, these guys are racing against the best in the world, and yeah. I've always said it, South Africans can definitely do it, yeah. do it and uh, yeah. they've proven it, and I think it's very exciting to see. And I mean, yeah, for other... <laughs> younger kids aspiring i yep. mean these guys are good examples Absolutely. for them to look up to and yep. and know that it is possible because a lot of us i mean we'll tell you when we were younger you know we didn't think it was possible to race internationally you know sure. we were it yep. was a dream but you know yep. could it happen and there's always you know south african drivers we don't come with big budgets we don't have big sponsors Absolutely. is it possible to make it happen and yep. i think these guys at the moment are definitely making us known on the on the map internationally and that younger kids coming through carts you know they all got that in common all carters polar cup and then on yeah. to gt racing at the moment and uh, yeah it's uh, proudly south african it's awesome i mean people don't realize how hard it is as a south african to make it over never mind the 11 hour flight to get there yeah. you're competing with people that have been grown up with it on their doorstep you know our, our doorstep consists of a handful of circuits around the country we race them flat we know them inside out but that's our world our world is in south africa now to go overseas and try and you know get into that market that mindset that yeah. is second nature to your competitors i mean they grew up on those tracks that you and i are competing at uh, i think uh, i think to to, to both to sheldon both you you and and, and your brother to, to ch chat a little bit about that what did it feel like first of all from your side maybe just chat a little bit about how how tough that transition is leaving South Africa and almost being, you know, thrown into this, this different world. <clears throat> yeah, I think Shane obviously mentioned already, we were lucky enough to have the top family obviously guiding us through that whole process, sure. you know, and he made a, he opened a very big door for us in that sense. So I think that obviously helps quite a lot. Um, and without that, I think it would have been a lot more difficult than it probably was yeah. now. Um, yeah. And I also had it easy because Calvin and Jordan he, went there first. Yeah. I was the last one to pull in, so everything was set up for me already. <laughs> exactly, which was red carpet. Yeah, yeah. Red, carpet. <laughs> red carpet was there, I just had to walk in. The so, fridge was stocked down. Exactly. All the hardships. 
Oh, it's Calvin, great day. special. So special to have your brother racing along, well, not alongside you in a yeah. different team, but I mean, in the same, in, in one of the world's toughest uh, competitions. But Ryan, in saying that, I think the nice thing is to have the brotherly support, you know, sure. even with Jordan there, I think to have yeah. each other, yeah. to motivate each other when, you know, you know, you have ups and downs very quickly, you're only as good as your last race. You sure. Know? Yeah. For Sheldon to win the DTM, yeah. I think it's just I'm phenomenal. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, you know, yeah. But to have the support, I'm sure it helps you when you're over there. Yeah, the absolutely. Line. And people even ask us sometimes, like, why would you support your brother so much? Like, if yeah. I had a brother, I would completely gun against him and just try and kick his ass, you know? Yeah. But we don't yeah. really see it like that. For some reason, we try and, well, not for some reason. I mean, we try and support each other where we can. And I think that's yeah. how we've improved each other through the years as well. It's yeah. just kind of uh, it's awesome, making man. steps forward. And uh, yeah, yeah. That's, I think that's also key to success I for us. I think South Africans, like, if you look at any sport in South Africa, everyone gets behind their nation a bit and motorsports somehow a bit separate, especially yeah. this trip to Europe is yeah. you want to be on your own foot. It's almost like going back in the days you're setting yeah. sail out of Cape Town yeah, and you've got to, got to go got to, to Europe and sure. yeah. kind of trekking your own way. And I think myself and Colin obviously stepped over there. Yeah. Shane was Shane was there, he set the, the boundaries and obviously yeah. he set the foundations and there was a little bit of a gap and then when we came, we obviously came into a, a relationship there was already there was a link there there's a lot of backwards and forwards between yeah. south africa and germany yeah and we could just hop on that train and grow on it but it was almost like we were back to doing it ourselves and i think if, if we were to go against each other all sure. the way it would have been a yeah a bit of a, a, bit of a correct yeah so yeah. almost yeah. the three of us kind of put our differences aside realized yeah. that all the have the same common goal but we, yeah. we found our own niches amongst three different brands and the relationship grew so strong that we could back each other and just force each other up and push each other forward. And honestly, I know, don't want to sound arrogant or ignorant, but I think South African drivers are one of the best, sure. the most talented yeah. in the world. Yeah. And I was lucky enough for a couple of years to share an apartment with uh, probably two of the best GC drivers, if not the best in the yes. world. Yeah. So yeah. It ah. just pushes your level every weekend, week Definitely. out, whether we going for a run, playing tennis, paddle. swimming, yeah. now paddle. <laughs> The, the level of competition but friendly rivalry is so good that yep. you just see it just drives the motivation and stuff and trust me when we're off the track we want to be uh, we're best of mates and when we're sure. on the track all competitive we're yeah correct well. but that correct. Absolutely. but that professionalism i yep. think with you guys has yep. been phenomenal you know watching Absolutely. from here yep. and the way you guys handle the press and the media yep. Because obviously it's hard being South African, Absolutely. it's not easy. Um, so you always have to be the best, you know. You can't be anything other than that yeah. if you want to keep your seat there. There's just so many guys coming through the ranks. So, yeah, it's well, awesome. I mean... Sheldon, have you noticed when you've, since coming home, since winning the title, that it's been like a, a matter of people go recognize you a bit more? I mean, is DTM massive in South Africa? Can you sense, and I'm not talking about the dialed mo motor enthusiasts, because yeah. we know yeah. as motor enthusiasts, you, you, we know everybody is. Yes, yeah. I'm talking about the general public. Does it get enough love? Uh, DTM racing in South Africa or GT racing in South Africa? I definitely think it does. I mean, it's on Super Sport, obviously, sure. so it's it's yeah. accessible to the public as well to watch on TV and stuff, yeah. which is obviously a good step forward. Yes. Um, but you definitely notice a difference now this year when I came back. You know, it's my first championship in Europe as well. Yeah. I haven't won anything but else besides DTM, so it's obviously a nice way to kind of yeah. enter, yeah. you know. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's obviously, you get a lot of recognition for it, which is obviously nice. Yes. And, yeah, and, yeah um, like Jordan said as well, the, the support from South Africa has been amazing so far. And, we can just thank them in the end because yeah. um, I think we have one of the best supporters in the world and uh, yeah. if it keeps growing like it does, um, like I said, I mean, we need to have more of these kind of people coming over to, to Europe and taking sure. the chance because if it wasn't for Shane, I don't think anyone would have really had the balls to go over and, and try <laughs> yeah. it. You know? yeah. And there were balls all over Europe when Shane was yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> still awesome, yeah. Yeah. It's still awesome. <laughs> There's still balls everywhere. Exactly. exactly. But I can say one thing for sure is that, uh, I mean, I don't know, your, your sister races, which is pretty yeah, cool yeah, as well. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. awesome. I mean, she does, in, she does really well. In I terms know, of family, family, I can yeah. tell you now that uh, there's, there's definitely rivalry within yeah. the family yeah. because I mean even uh, when I was with uh, Calvin and Sheldon was watching in the Sorocco Cup you would always get people like who's the fastest one yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and they try yeah. to like, create like this whole thing yeah. but actually at the end of the day like no one messes with your brother and the other side of it is you actually don't push yourself as hard because you you, like you sit around the dinner it's table, family. your mom yeah. goes well because yeah. you only talk about racing. You talk with your father like yeah. flat out, yeah. what we can do better, what yeah. we should do, where should we yeah. go. You live in the dream on their pension fund. You're like, oh, wait, you spend it. You're just <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. like that. Yeah. Someone, you know, I'm going to be the best that ever was. You know, just spend your last penny on me. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's, uh, it's, uh, it, it, it actually creates you to be uh, yeah. superior because you actually share things like uh, between each other and yes. you actually grow and uh, the same 
thing, I'm sure, what happened with them. You yeah. know, you come back, one's down, the other one goes, listen, yeah. going for a run, now let's do it. Whereas, like, if you got a, if you live in alone out there, I sure. mean, I went there and, like, I didn't have any racing you know buddies. Yeah, correct. I'm a mechanic, a Pay truck driver. Yeah. 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 I must yeah. still got training in the evenings and then they're like, Shane, you have to do, like, 20Ks and I'm kind of won't even do like five. <laughs> so I'd run and sit down on the bench there. How long would 20 k's be? Back in like, <laughs> like Wednesday. Hour, Wednesday. 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 So, but I've come. I, they say to me, "Why don't you go on a big jacket like that?" I said. Well, you know, it can get cold, but me too, I get the beach though. Yeah. No, so, but anyway, it's On that uh, note though, I mean, all your oaks are fit. I don't think that people realize how fit you need to be in any form of motorsport to get behind the wheel and drive a car. Yeah. I mean, Look at him, he's even done the Woolies Marathon. He's what do you mean? <laughs> No, this is the, this is the, it's one the, of the most the important nine ones. Dash, the nine-hour nine dash. dash. You grab your uh, pasta, you get your bread, and then Jeez. you get your salad on your way out. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a yeah. But for, in terms of fitness, you're right. I mean, people don't realize, you know, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, you put a lot of effort into this. I mean, I know yeah. you guys run, you guys yeah. ride the, the bikes on the road. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean. Yeah, some of us some other guys do wines to I don't know who it was, but someone, someone I heard that as well. over there that just turned 40 what? today. Birthday what? boy on the right there. Wine to Wales. Wine to Wales. Yeah, yeah I did wine to Wales. But I these just, guys, I mean, I let's, it's let's service, about the, I it's, it's a wine service for fat yes. It's something like that. Give me wine to Wales. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's about the, 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 the highly tuned hybrid athletes here yeah, we're yeah, talking yeah. about. I mean, Calvin yeah, knows. I've seen Calvin. He does a lot of... You enjoy your bike, yeah? Did, you um, enjoy it. When was it? The last uh, Ironman 70.3? Yeah. In, uh, in oh, jeez. Yeah. That's that mad. Was, that was a highlight. So, I mean, look, what you definitely you have to be... I wouldn't say for the individual races, but over a season, we do 25 races. It's more than, more than Formula One. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, over a season... Yeah. That fitness really starts to count. I think Absolutely. the individual race, you can't see yeah. it one by one. Yeah. It's over a season to keep for eight months on the road to sure. really be fit. That's where it makes a difference. How do you guys wind down? I mean, we've got paddles in hand. We're playing a bit of paddles. And this you're, game you're, you're, was you're, next level competitive. Was, I mean, I'm glad, I'm glad that I managed to play well because I might not get invited again, especially when I played on my brother's team. And I mean, we managed yeah. to win, thank goodness. Well, you know. the paddle, but, I mean, but it's it's lovely. It's great competition. Right, right. I mean, <coughs> yeah. the guys come here. I think it's awesome. I mean, you guys could go in on holiday anywhere, anywhere in the world. In the world. Yeah. And you're here in Cape Town. Yeah. I mean, it's Beach awesome. Cape Town. We were Climbing Table Mountain in the morning. Ah, it's awesome. Down in Camps Bay for breakfast, have a shower, back there for lunch, in the gym. Then we had a couple couple sundowners and then a nice. What do you mean by that? Elaborate. Dad might be watching guys. Yeah. But honestly, like at our doorstep, yeah. South Africa, like how more yeah. beautiful can you be? And especially Absolutely. since it's our off season. I know where all of us lived and Shane lived yeah. there as well. Those big jackets he spoke about are one in use there now. <laughs> yeah, true. Raining. So, South Africa, there's no place like home. And yeah. I think with family and friends here, yeah, like, why wouldn't we be here to spend our off season having fun? And I think we like to think that Shannon are mentally preparing you for the new season. I mean, with that paddle game, I mean, it was intense. Yeah. yeah. You know, the mental games that was going on in between. And, uh, listen, you know, listen, it's, I don't want to talk work, but when does work begin again? January. January. Yeah, so I think for myself, it's, stop. yeah, <laughs> for myself, it's Daytona 24, end of Jan. Obviously, oh, that'll yeah. be the first race for me. Yeah. And then it goes, uh, Dubai actually for that. Dubai, yeah. Daytona, Australia, so three weeks in a row, basically. Sure, that's and then uh, I go to a bit Europe. of traveling, eh? I mean, Correct. That's quite a bit. I mean, Ford. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, it's business. Class, so it does. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Well, as a champion, I mean, yeah, yeah. Exactly. that's the least they can do. And Jordan, Jordan? when do you begin? In yeah, the, first, in first race, I'll join Charlton and Daytona. I'll lap me about every three laps. Three laps. <laughs> prototype. These, these new prototype <laughs> prototype. Yeah. yeah. So you're in a great car, in actual fact. For well, hopefully. Yeah. So we're gonna con announce yet. We're gonna be in a great lineup and a yeah. great, great, oh, that's car, awesome. great opportunity for Absolutely. the next couple of years. Yeah. Um, so looking forward to it. Yeah. For me, well it's, a, it's a long, it's a longer stretch. Uh, yeah. End of Jan is a good starting point. Uh, yeah. Calvin, unfortunately, still has to go to a couple of races there in the Middle East yet. Yeah, hey. Signs off the season. Yeah. Tough life, eh? Tough, tough life. life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean someone's yeah. got to do it, eh? Exactly. Yeah. Pedal game to go race. To go, <laughs> to go race. Like, but I'm not going to be. But. but I'm waiting for you guys to come back because you know New Year's Round is around two. the corner. <laughs> <laughs> guys, listen. The one thing's for sure that wherever you travel in the world, as South Africans, we're very proud of you, and I think yeah. that the racing family, the family, is an incredible family. We were all, most of us, at a function 
not so long ago that celebrated Peter Lindenberg's life and his legacy that he's left behind. And at that function, he gave a mention to your family, talking about one of the most underrated uh, racing car drivers he'd ever c competed with, talking about Henny and talking about the legacy he left behind in Group B, and that even though he, he was one of the toughest oaks, never ever got you know that opportunity yeah. to, to do it outside of, of, of you know the area the era and era, area that he did it in. Yeah. And it's 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 phenomenal that the family of motor racing in South Africa has remained a single unit. I think there's no other family in the world. It doesn't matter the discipline that you're racing, they've stayed a unit that supports and loves one another and I think yeah. that's incredible. It's passing on that experience I think yeah. which helps, you know, yeah. and that's why you're seeing the, the new generation thing. doing so well. Our, our uncle raced with their dad and uncle. Cool. Yeah. So, and I Jeez, raced Solo he... Cup with Jordan's dad. You see? <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's a yeah. thing. It goes way back. Yeah. 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 Tell you, it doesn't stop you having experience and knowing what you're doing behind the wheel. We'll be watching with much interest you defend your title next year uh, behind your car in the GTM. Uh, uh, Jordan will be watching you uh, next year in the GTM. Of course, Calvin, we will you know, be watching you as well with your yeah. brother competing on the other side He's of the spectrum. He's going to go take a DTM championship. It's his turn now. It's his turn. Away from your boot <laughs> yeah. next year. Calvin paved the way. Everyone was and supported then, DTM correct. because he was leading the championship last yeah. year. And exactly. while you, and while you <laughs> can change so, quickly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you're actually working hard. I'm stuck with the Williams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for you. <laughs> In all seriousness, guys, uh, John Williams, uh, Shane Williams, the Williams brothers, also just incredible in the local motor racing scene. And the amount of give back that they, they constantly do, whether it's a radio show, a TV show, or just imparting their knowledge with the next generation, right here is a purebred panel of excellence. And ladies and gents, uh, you can only expect it. They're South African. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.